Hey everyone, it's Craig here from VDZ Media and today I'm going to bring you some gameplay of the new Olympic Games Tokyo 2020. Now this game currently isn't out in the US or Europe. Uh, I was given access to it via a remote store. Um, I believe it's due out next year, uh, probably to coincide with the Olympics themselves. Um, the game does sort of feel like it's perhaps an early access. Um, it's a mixed bag, uh, which I'm going to show you. I haven't tried every event. I have tried some. Uh, some are good, some are not. <laughs> and there's more to come at later dates. Uh, apologies if I am speaking quite loudly. One thing that does seem to be missing from this release as well is being able to lower the volume of the music, which just seems utterly bizarre. I went through every setting and there's nothing that you can do, seemingly, to, unless it's very well hidden, uh, to lower the volume of the music. So I started this video in this menu because the music in the background is a little bit less intrusive than the rest. So, sorry if during this video you can't hear me that well, um, as I say, I, I don't think I've ever came across a game that, that doesn't let you edit any audio settings, but so far uh, I've not been able to find it. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to take a look at maybe three or four different events, just to get a feel, give you an idea of what the game's like, um, and you can see if it's something that you'd be interested in. There is quite a few events that are staples of the Olympic Games uh, in previous years gone by. Um, the sprints, swimming, stuff like that, um, they're all really good. Um, there was certain events that did win a bit of an eye-opener when I saw them listed. Things like basketball, football, uh, and from what I've tried on these, they're not as good. Um, the football certainly is pretty abysmal. Uh, it makes you wonder why bother. Uh, I just I think you'd be better having less and having them be quality than tacking in one of the worst football games I've ever played. But like I say, we're going to take a look through a few of them, and you can make up your own mind. So we'll go back out here again. Apologies if you can't hear me that well. We're just going to be going through practice because that lets us choose whatever event we want. So we have 100 meter sprints, 100 meter freestyle swimming, baseball, hurdles, uh, more swimming, medley, don't know, basketball, the hammer throw, table tennis, football, long jump, normal tennis, beach volleyball. BMX racing and boxing. Later this year, they are going to be adding in rugby sevens, a relay race, judo, and sport climbing. So, as you can see, a, a good mix. Um, it's one of these things, though, that they're basically trying to tack a lot of games into one, and it makes it very difficult to excel at any. Um, like I say, the sort of the staples of Olympic Games in the past, I think they've nailed very well. Uh, I tried table tennis and enjoyed that as well. Uh, I haven't tried the long jump yet, I presume it'll be pretty good. I haven't tried boxing or beach volleyball, in fact we'll give both of them a go on this stream. But what we'll do is we'll start with 100 metres and I'll let you get an idea of what it's like. One thing I would say is I do like the graphics. I like the graphics quite a lot. It's a kind of cartoon art style, but it's nice. Uh, really nice uh, player designs. Uh, when you create your Olympic hero, there's millions of choices. Uh, it's not one of these things where when you're making your avatar, you've got six haircuts. There's about a hundred haircuts. There's, there's a lot of options uh, to create your character. So that's nice, especially if when Olympic Fever hits, you want to go online and you want to 
you want to play this competitive way, I think it will be a massive, a massive boost that it's got such a good create mode. Uh, I chose a creative the girl that's sitting at lane five, not this one. For some reason, they just show you a, a random person every time. So this is me here. The rookie. Definitely win some modeling awards. Right. Number two looks like he should. No, sorry, number seven looks like he should be rolling himself to the finish line. He's getting pumped. Okay, here we go. Set. So pretty simple, uh, the all the sprinting is, is just tapping X as fast as you can. Um, I know in previous games it had been two button presses, one for left foot, one for right foot. It's simple, but it's effective, and it's got a lot to do with your starting position, uh, how well you start. Um, simple, I like the graphics, I like, I think online, it would be better of something different to normal just now, so I would probably need to put that up a bit. But I think it was a decent start. So here is swimming, which I found quite difficult. It's a bit more involved in terms of button inputs. I've tried this twice, and each time I've done pretty well. Uh, for Indonesia. half the race, and then in the second half, I've just been blown out the water literally, and I've came Great last. Britain. So let's see if we can do any better this time. So this time, you will be using different inputs for your left and right arm, Take your as you'll marks. see in a second. As these buttons overlap, you need to press the right and left analog sticks. Hitting them right on gets you the best stride. You have to push off here and back up. It's the same again. But as also some sort of boost which I don't fully really understand. Oh, I won. Yeah, I didn't fully really understand the the sort of boost you can build up at the end there, but that worked a lot better. So it seemed to suggest to me when it told you that you would hold down L1 and then that would be the sole way you would boost, but apparently you do have to do the inputs at the same time. So we got a trophy there for one in a race. Get some more XP points. And we're back in select another event. Again, here obviously all we're doing is just uh, some training. We haven't actually went into an Olympic, proper Olympic event. Um, I'll skip the baseball. It's it's pretty basic. It's all right. It's not it's not terrible certainly. Um, we're going to take a look at the hurdles. Like I say, it is a very mixed bag. Uh, obviously they're promising more stuff is coming to it later before the official release. Uh, I'd imagine by the time you can buy this that it will be a full product and who knows, maybe they will have even improved the likes of the football and the baseball, but I wouldn't hold my breath. jump the hurdles, I think it's just left stick. I hope it's just left stick. Let's see. Set. Yes. 
Again, simple. Oh, I say simple as some guy comes careering over one of them behind me. Uh, I say simple, but it's fun. And I think the main lure of this game is going to be online. So, obviously, whereas I've strolled both the, the sprints, the sprinting events there, uh, I'm only playing on normal difficulty. I probably need to pump that up to hard or extreme. Uh, and obviously online, the difficulty will be higher as well. Another one that I found quite fun was the hammer throw. So let's go and take a look at that. This one takes some timing. Basically what you're going to have to do here is to pick up the hammer, you hold down R1 and L1 and then you spin the right stick and you have to let go the right time. It does come into slow motion to help you a little bit. Um, your character does have different stats as well, so I gave most of my stats into speed as you could see by how she was winning those sprints. Um, she's not as powerful, so I'm not as good at this event. Ah, uh, the rest of it. Foul. Basically what you're looking to do there is you're looking to let go. When that bar comes up, you're looking to let it go in the pink. Second try. So let's see if we can manage this time. So you keep spinning and you let go of L1 and R1 once it hits the pink. So let's try it again. There we go. Not having my power stats up very high obviously means I'm not going to get necessarily the best throw, especially if I was playing on a higher Final difficulty. But we'll give it our third try. So that was much further than the second time, so I wonder if that, I wonder if I just, I was rotating the right stick better or something. Because it said perfect both times, but that was a substantial increase. So once again, simple, but fun. Just kind of what you're looking for in one of these Olympic games. Let's have a look at Table tennis, I enjoyed that. When I say the table tennis is fun, it's nowhere near as good as Rockstar's table tennis from like 12 years ago. Uh, there's still been nothing that's come anywhere close to that, but it's fun. Senegal. But, bit unfair, I'm playing against this big wall puncher. Great Britain. The rookie. Yeah. He beat me for a snack. Start the rookie to serve. So this is first to seven, and it's all basically done with the right stick. You move your character with the left stick. You aim. <laughs> Where about you're gonna hit? Where about you want to sort of connect to the ball uh, using the right stick? It takes a little bit of getting used to, and you don't have a massive amount of time, but obviously playing on normal difficulty, you get enough chances to hone your skills, and as with pretty much every game in this, you can build up a bar which lets you hit a super shot which we will be doing at some point. You can see it down in the bottom left once that builds up. We can unleash. We're almost at it now. I'm trying to remember what the button is, I think it might just be R1. See that? Oh no, it's both of them. We'll do it this time. 
let's hit the unstoppable so shot. That wasn't it, he's just shit. Let's try this time. I'll try and beat him with the shot. There we go. Special shot of his ass right out of the tournament. So, so far these are all ones that I enjoy, uh, like I say, obviously they might look quite quite simple, and I'm not saying they're not, but they're fun, and they will certainly be competitive online. Now I'm going to show you the football. This is pretty bad. Um, basically, on attack, you have move, pass, and shoot. They are, there's no sprint, there's no, there's no nothing. <laughs> um, when defending you have a standing tackle or a slide tackle, but there doesn't appear to be fouls, so if you're not going to win the ball with a slide tackle and you press the slide tackle button, it just seemingly doesn't work. It basically will only let you slide tackle if you're going to win the ball. So, there's no such thing as a one-touch pass, you basically have to There's no through ball either by the way, nothing like, nothing like that, nothing as, ad as advanced as that Oh, we back here animation right there, fair enough so we'll go through and go, right Now, it's a little bit of a shame because I quite like the graphics. I probably shouldn't, but I just I don't mind a cartoony game of football. Like, I feel like I don't know. I feel like it not had potential, but I feel like it could certainly have more than this. I feel like. I don't know, I just think in certain ways it, it looks like a fun cartoony game of football, but it controls just abysmally. I'm not going to play this full match, I don't think. I'm going to try and get a... Oh! Oh, I take it back, this feels... I went through the whole first game trying to hammer someone and never once managed to connect. To be honest, that might even be worse because it means sometimes when you press slide tackle, it just doesn't work. Let's see if we can get a goal before we put this off. The fact that you can have fouls in it does improve this slightly. It's still bad. It's still really bad. Kick off. I do appear to have some sort of special on the go with my players. It's basically your special point to hit with your star player, which is this one here. Special shot still doesn't go in. The special shot appears to be a slightly harder shot. This really is terrible, but I, I want a goal. <laughs> I want a goal before we put it off. Same goddamn animation putting out for a throw in at the exact same place. Go for a throw in, he kept intercepts it at the same damn place. Literally every shot I've hit, it's fallen down and then they have cleared it from the same spot. Just really bad. I 
Point you dare. I'm trying to put it out again. Destined to end now now I think. Oh, maybe not. Oh, we've an extra shot. <laughs> right, I take it back. It's still shit. It's really shit, but that was actually quite cool. I like that. That was a lot different from any of the, the special shots that I had done in the past. Um, it doesn't necessarily make up for how shit it is, but a last minute winner with that. It could be worse. It could certainly be worse. Right, so that's a bit of a low point. Despite its cool shot. So these are the ones that I have checked out so far. I'm gonna... I'm gonna check out Long Jump. Earlier on when I was just testing this out, uh, we actually had a power cut. Right as I was about to try the Long Jump. And then when it came back on, I thought it best just to record before I ran out of time, so... Press X rapidly to speed up. Click the left stick to the upper right. Cut out the angle, sounds okay. Quite good there. Quite happy with that. The crowd go wild. Second try. Start. Let's see if we can beat it. Huh. Oh dear! What happened there? Shot my load with the first jump. Final try. That's a nice touch. Quite like that. Wonder if that will help. <laughs> oh, I might have jumped too late as well. My 9.8 is going to be enough for me. I win. So again, that's a staple of all these games. It's fun. I wonder if it's worth trying out the tennis. I'll go for it quickly. All these seem to be quite quick, you don't seem to be stuck in, in a match for too long. Which is quite good. Uh, aim press. Special shot. They're looking to implement that, I would say. Cuba. The meteor. Yeah, not the best of physics. Some really weird squeaky noises here. Like she's farting or something.
what are these? I think it's supposed to just be the racket and the shoes, but it's really off-putting. Ah, oh, there's different types of shots you can have. That's something at least. Yeah, it's, it's it's not terrible. It's basic, but it's not terrible. And I, th I think that is the potential problem with a lot of these games within this is they're not bad, but they're, they're not... I mean, there's plenty of games doing it better. But you are going to get the Olympics experience, and I do expect this game to sell. Uh, they've always had a lot of stick in the Olympic Games, but see, that bounce is just weird. Uh, they always get a lot of stick every single time they come out, but then they sell well. Um, and I always find them good for a bit of fun. There's something really, really off about the physics when the ball bounces. Let's get a special shot in the goal. Yes. Like that. What is that about? Really off putting. Right, special shot time. That was rubbish. Can I set myself up for that one? Nice to give it a point. Fault. All right. Every single time the ball bounces, it's just... It's just really odd. have all the gold when I'm done with taking her to the top. Right, I'll need to wrap this up soon. So, the ones I haven't tried so far, beach volleyball, boxing and BMX. I think we'll go with the boxing because I think the BMX and the beach volleyball are going to be similar in terms of physics to some of the stuff we've played already. Type of punch turns out it's out. You guard automatically but you can also pull R1. And you can sidestep. And you get a special blow. Malaysia. This seems a bit unfair. This guy's about four times the size of me. Great. Round one. Oh dear. button mashing. One, two, three, four. Try 
good dodge, wasn't it? Oh dear. Right, I'm gonna use my... I'm gonna use my special punch. Oh! Oh dear. It's quite a bit heavy. Sorry, my commentary of what's going on goes to absolute shit when I'm trying to focus. Look at those hits. And I'm, I'm really content. I'm female power here. I want a win. So I must be if you get him down three times in the one round, then he's not allowed to get back up. If he's even able to get up here. Is it over? No, it's not. Yeah, let's finish him. Oh, 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 oh. Look at him in a wee triple heat. You are done, mate. Right, again, I feel like a broken record here, but basic, but fun, and I think it would be much more fun online. I think you could get a lot of fun out of that. Um, it's pretty much the story of this game, to be honest. Like, I think you, I think it would be competitive right enough if you did put it up to a harder difficulty, which I haven't done, because I'm just testing out the different uh, events at the moment. I've always been a sucker for the Olympic Games, they're always, it's always the same sort of thing, it's always button combinations, button mashing, there's something about them I just like, I remember when I was young and me and some of the boys we used to go and get a crate of beer and we would sit and try and beat each other's world record while getting drunk and ever since then I've always, I just always enjoy it, I've always had a, a soft spot for these type of games. Um, if you like previous Olympic Games, you're going to like this one. If you didn't, you're probably not going to like it. Um, I like the graphics. They've went obviously for a more cartoon art style instead of realism. I think that's a good move. Um, those, these games are never going to have the budget uh, to make them look as good as people would want anyway, so why not? Why not go this way? Um, I don't know how much the game's going to be. Uh, I got access to this through the Hong Kong store. Uh, I have no idea what the conversion is in terms of money. Um, it's not going to be a full price game though. I would guess probably maybe £30, maybe less. Um, and like I say, there's no uh, European or US release date being set yet. It's All it says is 2020. So by the time up in 2020 I would imagine all this stuff will be out because I would guess it will come out after February I would think after February in which case all the scheduled extra events uh, should be live of the ones that are there I imagine rugby will probably be as bad as the football the relay might be quite good judo could be interesting and the climbing all depends. It's got potential but who knows. Um, so this is ba the basic layout of this. I like I say that was just the training. Other than that you can go into ranked games, you can join friends, you can play offline Olympic, full Olympic events, you can play online. Uh, there's lots of different outfits and stuff like that you can buy um, outfits for each different event so if you go into you know, swimming um, you have a bunch of different outfits that you can choose so you can, there's lots of there's lots of options and I like that especially if a game you're going to take online I feel like you want your character to be Unique, and I'll just see if we can edit just to give you an idea before we end this video. So, this is my chick here. 
detail in it. So if, just even get into facial features. Face shape, hairstyle, and as I say, there's plenty of hairstyles that you can choose between eyebrows, eyes, nose, cheeks, eyeshadow, glasses, facial hair, you give my chick a moustache, you can do whatever you want. Wrinkles, in case for some reason you want the oldest Olympic gold medalist ever, uh, even some face paint. So, lots of options, fun gameplay for the most part, lots of different events, a game that's going to be fun online or local co-op. Um, and yeah, look out for it in 2020, it's going to be published by Sega. And yeah, that's it. I just wanted to show you guys some of this footage since it's not game's not gonna be out properly for a while. Uh, this has been Craig from VDZE Media. For more, please check out the website, it's vdzemedia.net and hit me up on Twitter at V-I-Z-U-A-L-D-Z-E with any questions, comments or ideas for future videos. Thanks for watching guys, catch you later.